there, my name is Dr. May. In this video, we're gonna look at graphing inequalities on a number line. So let's start with less than. Specifically, we're gonna graph x is less than or equal to negative two. Now, I want you to notice something in this inequality, but more specifically, I want you to notice what's missing in this inequality. Notice that at the, underneath the inequality, there is not an equal to. So we are dealing with what we call an open circle. So anytime you have a less than or a greater than, you're gonna be putting an open circle at that number. So at negative two on our number line, I'm gonna put an open circle. Then I want you to see that it is less than, X is less than negative two. And notice that your arrow, because your variable is on the left, your arrow is pointing to the left. That means we're going to shade to the left of this number on the number line. And that's it. So you must determine, is it an open circle? We're here in a minute. We're going to look at a closed circle. And then you have to decide, are you going to shade to the left or are you going to shade to the right? Let's take a look at another example. Greater than. So X is greater than negative two here. Again, because we have a less than or a greater than, we're gonna put an open circle there at negative two. But look at our arrow now, it's pointing to the right. So that tells us we're gonna shade to the right. Think about it. If X is going to be greater than negative two, we wanna shade where the numbers are bigger than negative two. And that is over here on the right. All right, just one more to look at. For this one, we're gonna look at greater than or equal to. So when we have an equal to underneath it, you notice the little line underneath the inequality, that is the equal to part. So when we have a greater than or equal to, or we have a less than or equal to, we're gonna use a closed circle. Let me show you how I do that. I'm going to go to negative two on our number line, and I'm going to close that circle just by coloring it in. Now, let's look at our arrow to determine which way we're going to shade. Notice that our arrow is pointing to the right. That means we're going to shade to the right of negative two on our number line. So remember, two things to decide. Are you using an open or a closed circle? And the second thing then? which way are you going to be shading on your number line? All right, friends, I hope this helps you with graphing your inequalities. Bye for now.